Hello Moby Roomies, it's me Joseph and I'm back with some more gaming news from Asia. It's been a slow paced week but we still brought some action pack RPG news. Let's check them out. King of Fighters is back, except this time SNK plans to release it in a mobile action RPG version for iOS and Android. They teamed up with Netmarble to bring something fresh to the series. All the characters way back from KOF 94 to KOF 13 will be featured in the game. The original characters' voice and sounds will be all included as well. The title is King of Fire's All-Star. As of now, no release date has been revealed yet. However, more news about the game will drop on June 13th. And Shirley will be covering that. Now this next game looked like it was going to be a hit. It was released for early access on Steam after being released first in Korea, Japan, and Russia. Yet after a day or two of launching, it was hit with massive refunds. That's right, we're talking about that recent game fail, Bless Online. At first, lots of fans were super excited about the game released, buying it from $40 to $150. Boy. This past week, Bless Online was ranked as a number two best selling game on Steam. But users were quickly saddened by the poor optimization, connection issues, and other bugs. It got to the point that after the early access launch, the executive producer gave a long apology regarding all the issues and their solutions. Soon after, players quickly received their refunds, and the game vanished from the best sellers list. Hopefully the game will get fixed ASAP before the community completely bails out. Hmm. For all our anime fans out there, we got a new trailer for One Piece World Seeker. Oh yeah. Namco Bandai will be releasing the open world game this year. That's right. We noticed some scenes of cities that looked a bit empty and your crew not being around much. The game rather feels like a mix between Spider-Man and recent Batman games. Just watch the trailer and you'll see what we're talking about. Right? No finalized date yet, just a general 2018 release date. Once we hear more, we'll let you all know. Last year at G-Star, Netmarble showcased new games planned for this year, and one of them being Icarus M. Over there in the top right is our video we did on Icarus M. Anyways, well up until two weeks ago, the developer was Netmarble, and We Made Entertainment was developing the game. That's right. However, due to a fallout, We Made backed out of the contract with Netmarble. We Made released a statement saying they don't want to work with Netmarble anymore. There was a lot of back and forth arguments with no side making progress. Since then, We Made Entertainment has opened the game's pre registration on May 30th. Some of those goodies include gold, potions, resurrection scrolls, and for cafe members, a limited edition battle pet. Check the game out and let us know. We may even stream it with tips and tactics. We'll end today's episode of Gaming News from Asia. If you like what we picked out, press that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, along with hitting that bell sign for future contents. Until next time, skibbity poop poop!